Hello and welcome to the latest edition of 32 Jackpot Marketing Secrets from History's Greatest and Craziest Persuaders uh, with David Lowenthal. I am David Lowenthal and today we're going to be talking about how to get legal and squeaky clean sales using the principles of political opposition researchers. Now, if you follow politics at all or follow especially campaigns, you will have heard of uh, political opposition researchers. Now they're called oppo researchers for short. And basically these are the guys that are hired by every single campaign to essentially dig up dirt on their opponents, both their opponents within their party and, the po and their opponents uh, it, outside of their party when they face them off in the general election. These are the guys that go in through all the high school uh, records and the business records and the medical records and, and talk to anybody trying to find embarrassing and or damaging uh, information to use against them either directly or indirectly by leaking it to another source. Now, kind of dirty stuff. However, it plays an important role in copywriting, I think, to use these kinds of tactics. Now, you're not doing corporate espionage or anything like that. It's about finding the flaws in your own product and your opponent's product. Now, naturally, if you're an entrepreneur or, you know, if you're a fundraising copywriter or a sales copywriter or anything, and you have uh, different uh, competitors that your target market could, you know, could be subscribed to, could use, that you want to displace their, uh, you want to displace that position and get that income for yourself and your organization and your business. One thing you should, you should, you should buy your competitor's product and service if they're a company or, uh, you know, donate uh, to their organization uh, if you're a donor just to see what the experience is like. You know, find the flaws that you can correct, but also find what's working that you can ape and make better for your own uh, for your own purposes. But not only that, you should do it for your own product, your own service, your own cause, whether you are doing it for a client or whether you are an entrepreneur or the owner of a non the executive director of a nonprofit writing your own fundraising copy. You should um, go into your own product, go into your own service, go into your own cause, and find out what the flaws are. And be serious and, and, and honest with yourself. Being, you know, if, if you have a product, be open, you know, what Dan Kennedy, the great uh, Dan Kennedy, the world's uh, highest paid copywriter, highest living paid copywriter says, you know, be able to write damaging admission copy. Be able to know what your product's flaws are. And, you know, it's, it's the equivalent of going into the high school records, going into the medical rep records and all that. Be a down and dirty opposition researcher for your own stuff that you sell. It will make you a better copywriter. It will make you a better salesman and it will make you more believable. If you, you know, can, can uh, lead up front or at some point in your copy saying like, yeah, if you are this type of person, this is not the product for you. Or this product is quite expensive. You know, this is not for, you know, people who are penny pinchers. This is for a certain type of people. If that's who you are, uh, this is not the letter for you. You know, uh, you know, if it's a cause, being like, you know, this is a serious commitment that we we require f from donors to to, uh, you know, help us fund this cause we we want people who are seriously dedicated to this and if this is not something you're seriously ded dedicated to hey don't donate to us it will all make your copy and your marketing and your business and your organization much much better so that's the uh, lesson for today learn the principles of opposition research and do opposition research on your own products and on your competitors products so you can sell more and get more fundraising dollars so you can reach your own marketing goals and have a better life. 
So um, thank you for watching uh, this uh, episode of 32 Jackpot Marketing Secrets from History's Greatest and Craziest Persuaders. Uh, if you like this series, um, you're a libertarian business person or <clears throat> a, market, a nonprofit marketer of some kind, uh, and you want to subscribe uh, to the world's first direct response uh, marketing letter um, garnered, uh, targeted to libertarian business people and nonprofits, I urge you to check out uh, my, uh, my uh, newsletter, which you can do so uh, in, the, in the link to the description below. Um, and you'll get a free copy of the ebook, 32 Jackpot Marketing Secrets from History's Greatest and Craziest Persuaders. 175 pages, that's yours for free, uh, delivered right to your inbox uh, after you subscribe. So uh, thanks again, and um, tune in next time.